Welcome to today's 3D print. We're going to try a new format this time. Something with more than just a down view looking at the model. I um, bought um, Miss Trigger's latest model, or Lobi, online. She made the Sorceress. So I bought the model and I printed her. And here she is. She came out absolutely stunning. She does hold a pen. Um, she failed in her hands. Something was up with the printer. It crashed into, right at the fingertips, it actually crashed into her and knocked her over on the printer. But enough finish that I was able to print it. Now, I don't know how well the front view camera works on this. I'm going to try to give you some close ups. This printed absolutely stunning. This is using eSun's PLA Pro in blue, which is a stunning filament. Not only is it crazy strong, but this blue is gorgeous. I tried coloring in some parts to get contrast. This is using a Sharpie. I do not suggest doing this because there is a wee bit of a problem. If you look there, where's the camera? See how there's some bleed into where her skin would be? I did not touch that with the marker. Apparently, even getting close causes a capillary reaction in the plastic, and the ink from the Sharpie actually bleeds through the plastic, through the capillary function, I guess the layers of the plastic, and starts spreading. Even when I kept like a two or three millimeter distance, it, it spread anyway. It's some kind of capillary function of the plastic, I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to reprint her again. I'm going to slow down a bit to complete the hands without a problem. And um, I might even just cut her hands off and print just the hands. <laughs> I just replaced my Z coupler, which was distorted. And that's not good. So I got a brand new one on there. And I tightened up the X carriage as well, because it was one of the wheels a little loose. So I gave that a little tightening, and we'll see how that affects the prints. Um, should get rid of a little bit of the banding I have when I get higher up. It was very, very minor. I mean, it didn't bother me, but it'd be nice to get rid of it. But she came out absolutely stunning. I would gladly buy any model she produces of this type, you know, the, her dragons, etc. It's worth every penny. I mean, and she only charged two dollars. I mean, it's, I mean, it is just a design file. You're not buying an actual model. I think she could probably get five. <laughs> Although if you're selling it that well, then keep it. Um, this was printed on my C Reality CR10 printer. Again, an eSun PLA Pro. And it is just stunning. Every detail is just there. It's incredible. The toes, the beading, the hair, you can her little pupil, the I guess the tattooing on her skin. It's all absolutely stunning. I would really, really love it if you'd make a version of this with pointed ears. Nice long pronounced pointed ears. I would love an elf version of this. But this is a C Reality CR10. So We've got to go a little bigger. Hang on one moment. I had to get something for the other one. So of course, this is the 180 millimeter tall version. So I scaled her up. Luby, you said you wanted to see this large. So let's back up. How's that for large? <laughs> She's so big that she doesn't hold pens. She holds missiles. <laughs> little shout out to SpaceX there. <laughs> now you have a nice sorceress to hold your missiles for you. Well, your rockets, but you get my point. <laughs> you have got to see this. This is absolutely stunning. Something I noticed here. I'm, I'm not sure if it, yeah, it is coming out. You can see it. Do you see that? This printer prints so nicely. By the way, this took 51 hours. I slowed it way down to try to eliminate any problems. You can actually see the triangles that make up the mesh. Absolutely stunning. And this PLA, I wasn't expecting it to be so shiny. It's absolutely beautiful material. She came out absolutely amazing. There's a couple slight imperfections, but they're so minor that they're completely irrelevant. 
I love this material so much. I love this model so much. I'm going to use her to hold my rockets. Nice and pointy, the tips of the crown, her helmet. All the detail in the eyes, everything came out. Here's her hands. Actually, I guess I have to back them up so that they're in the focal plane. Look at that. If they had fingerprints, you'd probably be able to see it. Fingers came out beautiful. This is unprocessed either. I mean, I took my fingernail and I scratched off a couple little, um, little beginnings of strings that, you know, just like the little piece of plastic sticking out. They just scratched right off, no problem. Otherwise, I have not done anything to process this. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous, both this model and this plastic. I'm going to order many, many rolls of this plastic. I love this blue. This blue is so stunning. Here you can see one of the imperfections. Right there. Under extrusion of some sort. I'm not entirely sure why. This plastic prints very, very smoothly. Absolutely gorgeous model. I love this so much. I can't get over that a $400 printer can do this. $400. And this was about 12 bucks in filament. <laughs> so, $400 printer. That one right there. That printer right there. Which is now printing a 390 millimeter tall Area Dragon. <laughs> in this new filament I got. It's got some issues, but it works. With that. I'll have a review coming up on that soon. I'm doing the Aria Dragon. The thing looks like it's glowing. It looks like it's battery powered. Well, I'm doing a 400 millimeter tall Aria Dragon using that filament. I really hope you come out with some more models, more of this kind of models, organic models, people, um, elegant creatures, things that are designed for 3D printing that don't need support because support would have ruined this. If you had to use support on something like this, that would have just killed it. This you can never clean it up quite right. I mean, if you want to, if you're gonna finish the model anyway, it doesn't matter. But I'm not an artist. I don't finish models. You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll paint this a little bit. You know, paint the clothing and the um, jewelry and stuff like that to make it look a little nicer. But this is absolutely stunning. I love this model. Yeah, I love this blue. <laughs> <laughs> so go over to let's see where is it at 3D Cults I believe it is yep cults3d.com slash en slash user slash lobby l-o-u-b-i-e and you'll find her and be able to purchase her model it's right around two dollars worth every freaking penny and this is the kind of result you can get printing one of her models on a four hundred dollar printer <laughs> Four hundred dollars. That's incredible. Of all the three D printers I've seen, touched, and handled, I've never ever had one print this consistently, of this high quality, at this scale. It just never doesn't work. I mean, so if you had the settings for a filament wrong, but once you get those settings right, like my group gave me trouble until I realized it needed to be hotter. Once I increased the temperature to two hundred and thirty degrees, flawless. It just 75 hour print, no problem. 50 hours and 55 minutes. 51 hour print from start to finish. Unattended, I just set it to go. I have a little camera so I can log in and check the progress. So if I see the thing fail, I can call home and say, okay, turn the printer off. Not a problem. It just, it, it printed amazing. Mr. Driggers, thank you so much for making this available. I hope you do more. I really hope you do more of this kind of thing. Especially these absolutely stunningly gorgeous characters. I love this thing. I'm thinking I can maybe make her slightly taller. I don't know if it'd be worth it. If I chopped her hands off at the wrists and printed them separate, I can make her 20 or 30 millimeters taller. But I don't think it's enough of, a, of an increase in size to be worth the effort. She is stunning the way she is. Keep up the great work and I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you like the new format.